vibrant and colourful and made from hand-printed fabrics decorated with traditional designs. Magpie Goose is a non-profit which hopes the outfits will support local economic development and create jobs. These women had been asked so often about their snazzy threads, they decided to start up a fashion label. When I wore these pants in America, I had people calling across the street. They were like, nice pants! Nice pants, I mean. I was like, yeah, these are from Tiwi. The couple are based in Catherine and regularly work in remote communities. Clothes are such a great platform to tell stories on. Um, people wear them everywhere, you see them and they're eye-catching. People are really interested in learning more about Aboriginal cultures and so the textiles and the fashion enable that opportunity. For its first range, Magpie Goose is working with four top-end art centres from Arnhem Land to the Tiwi Islands that print their own fabrics. The label aims to teach local people how to take an idea and turn it into a profitable business, creating jobs and opportunities. Too much? <laughs> yeah. Maggie McGowan launched a Kickstarter fundraising campaign to finance the label's first range. It hit its target of $20,000 in one day and has since raised almost triple that with two weeks still to go. There is definitely an appetite at the moment for people who want to know where, where their clothing's made and what the story is and making sure that that whole production line is ethical. I'm really proud of, you know, how we can do things because mm. we have a good talent to do and there's a lot of different Aboriginal people out there have the skill to do it. They have the skill and the style. Netta Vanavak, ABC News, Tiwi Islands. Time for the weather now and a series.